Yo guys, M here, and welcome to another Assetto Corsa video. Now this time it's going to be a rather short video. I've been asked by a few people what the car roster is like in Assetto Corsa. So I have decided to put together a very short video just showing you all of the possibilities that are available on the PlayStation. So let's start at the top and we have our bath. This is an Italian game, so there are plenty of Italian cars. We have the new 500 our bath versions here. We also have some of the older our baths as well. Alfa Romeo, we have some interesting versions as well. We also have the GTA, uh, which I quite like. We have the Mito and we have the 4C as well, quite fun. Uh, moving on to Audi, we have some R8s, and uh, you'll also notice the S1 Quattro there has got a little cloud icon next to it, and that's because that's uh, that's going to be part of DLC, so that's not available out of the box, so to speak. Uh, moving on to BMW, we've actually got three pages of BMW, quite a few M3s there. Uh, we've also got some Z4s, M4s, and uh, Z4 GT3 racing as well. Moving on to Chevrolet, we have this C7 Stingray, and we also have a racing version of that as well, which is quite nice. And let's just go the other way to Ferrari. Of course, it's Italian, so there's lots of Ferraris. We have uh, the 458 Italia, we have the uh, 488 GTB, we also have the uh, old F40, quite an iconic Ferrari. We also have the FXXK, and we also have the Le Ferrari. So uh, quite a lot of fun indeed. Now moving on to Ford, we've got the Escort RS 1600, we've got the GT40 and uh, the 2015 Ford Mustang as well. KTM, we have uh, one of the Expos there available to select. And moving on to Lamborghini, we have the uh, Countach, Gallardo. Gallardo unfortunately looks like it's part of the DLC. We have the, uh, the Hurricane, we also have of course the Mura as you've already seen in the first video. Moving on, we have Lotus, and we have three pages of Lotus. We have quite a few Elise there, along with some uh, other interesting versions of the Evora. And moving on to the second page, we also have some Exige, and we have uh, more racing versions as well. We also have some quite fun Exus uh, 125 uh, versions as well, so that's, that's actually quite a lot of fun. We also have some classic race cars from Lotus as well, so they're actually uh, pretty nice to have in the game as well. Moving on to the second page, we have McLaren with some racing versions. We have the F1 GTR, we have the MP4 12C as well. We've also got the McLaren P1, so that's quite nice. Mercedes-Benz, uh, we have the SLS AMG. We also have some racing versions, and we have the rather crazy LM version from 89. It's a particularly noisy and quite fast. And moving on to Nissan, we have the GTR GT3, and um, unfortunately I was a little bit disappointed, but the GTR Nismo is obviously going to be part of a DLC pack, so uh, that's not available out of the box. Pagini, we have uh, we have two of the hyena, we have the uh, Zonda as well, so that's uh, that's quite fun. Praga, we have uh, the R1. And moving on to RUF, yes, the Porsche tuners. We've got the Yellow Bird, we've got RT12R and uh, uh, RT12R AWD. So that's, uh, that's quite fun, uh, if you can handle them. Um, we also have uh, some other racing cars from the Scudera. We have Shelby here with uh, the old Shelby 427, which is quite nice. We also have Tatus. Um, a little bit slower formula car, but uh, quite fun nonetheless. And finally we have Toyota with a GT86. Again, this is obviously only going to be part of the DLC that's going to be coming. So some very interesting cars and quite a few Italians and uh, quite an interesting roster. It's not huge, but uh, I must say each of the cars is pretty well detailed and also rather authentic. So uh, I'm actually quite liking it. Um, if we just take a quick look here, we also have livery options for every single car, and uh, usually that involves a selection of colours, but um, unfortunately you can't have your own specific colour that you may want, but uh, you get to choose from a pre-selected uh, selection. But uh, that's that's okay as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's not the high level of customization that you might expect with some other racing games, but um, it's, also, it's also a little bit of customization, so that's quite nice. So, 
that's the car roster, and um, yeah, so I will see you again for another video, and uh, I thank you for watching, thank you.